You guys are too slow. I'm hungry. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fair. Relax, Eddie. We, we, it's coming. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, chicken wings today. That's the plan. <laughs> Chris took up the challenge. We're going to try and do it better than last time. Nate called me out. A bunch of subs have asked. Oh, guys, can't wait for you to do it. Try it out. We got some thoughts about that. We'll talk about it in a little bit. It is, we're supposed to cook at 3 o'clock. It's a beautiful, what, 65 degree day today? First finally. nice day of the year. It's fantastic out. But there's one thing missing. We, got, uh, we have some family here. Everybody's here. So what's missing from this picture? I see, uh, I see Chris. Chris. See a couple of guests hanging out. See someone headed over there. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Uh, what is what's 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 missing? I don't know. It's a, oh, it's Jeff. That's right. He's late again. Late again. <laughs> late again. All right. Well, you know, I guess that's the norm. You know what? The later he gets, the more he's gonna have. It's my cook, but he's gonna be doing all the work today. I think. Just here, his punishment for being late is he has to work the camera. So you guys are not gonna see him. Just working it. <laughs> Chris is going to run down the ingredients and what we're cooking today. Me personally, I'm going to sit in this chair and do nothing. <laughs> do nothing. You hear him? He's happy for that. I don't blame him because I'd like to do nothing right now. However, we're going to do a quick cook. Guys, we were really not going to do anything today. We were going to hang out, but the weather was so nice. Finally, um, some sun. Some sun. Nate mentioned the whole chicken wing uh, last week, about or two weeks ago on his last. Deep I fry. didn't mention it. You volunteered. You no, questioned actually, the hell you out said, of me. Chris, you should do it. You're exactly. So, all right. Well, you were. And so did a lot of our subs. So. You were voluntold to try this. How's that? Voluntold. Voluntold. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so we are um, gonna do it. We're gonna give it a try. However, uh, long story short, I tried it this week on my own, and I literally sat in my back deck on the 36, which I thought would be better. It took more than an hour and a half for the oil to get up to heat. It was not good. So we're trying something a little different today. I wasted a lot of oil, a lot of gas. It was terrible. So we're doing a shallow fry. Got yeah, run, run down the differences. So the 36 didn't work because we think it was just too big, too much oil. It was a cold day. It was windy, and I think it was just not enough heat. It, it just and you had nothing. deep oil. What, you have, like four inches of oil? No, probably about, uh, what's that? About, about four inches. <laughs> Looks like six to me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe eight, whatever. <laughs> um, but it didn't work, so it was a it was a big waste. So I haven't tried this yet, but we're going to try this today. Very excited about it because I think it's going to work. We already started uh, getting the heat up, so it's already up to heat. took about 15 minutes to get up to 400. On the 22 Use, with on the, the 22 lid down. With the lid down. And, and I got about maybe an inch, inch and a half of oil. That's about it in both pans, so. We're going to do two chicken wings, two to three ways today, actually. I haven't decided yet. We're going to do uh, some garlic palm, which garlic palm and butter. Yeah, butter, garlic, and parmesan, you said. Yeah. And then and, you said. And then garlic palm. Uh, and I'm sorry, sauce. garlic, butter, and the red hot. Pete's red hot. Pete's red hot. So we're going to, I got some Pete's red hot. I'm going to try to make that our own little buffalo, make it a little spicy. And then I'm going to try to put 12 wings up to the side and just do some really uh, red pepper. You guys know I like it hot. I'm, I'm a wicked, wicked hot guy. So ground cumin and uh, chili powder. So I'm just going to do a dry rub of probably 12 of them, see how that comes out. So, Jeff, this is starting to sound like one of your videos where you start and you're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a nice, simple cook. Chris is like, well, we weren't really planning on cooking today, so <laughs> now I'm making chicken wings. Three different ways with 13 ingredients. No, and I'm it's not that them. bad. It's all right here. You know, we did a chicken wing video, you can look it back, about a year ago. We did it all on the griddle, start to finish, just right on the right on the griddle. It took, what, 45, 55 minutes? It took minutes, a while. It took a while. 16 minutes for it to cook, so we, we liked it. They came out great, but it took a lot of time. Well, so that, so when we finish this today, we should tell this, like these guys what we think as far as, we know that my deep, you know, four-inch oil, was not really super successful. Right. You know the 36 with deep oil wasn't not super successful. successful. Never try that. We know we can do them on the griddle, but it takes like quite a long time just right. straight on the griddle. A lot you of don't flipping, the, a lot of time. It's it's not it just took a lot. Deep fried, but they are good. They came out very crispy. They came out good, but it's just a lot of time. So, so we call this research. <laughs> research. So guys, we're going to show you what we're doing and 
bear with us. Again, it's all experimental. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys. So what we're going to do right now is I'm throwing some chicken into the flour right now. And Nate's going to, we're gonna, what's a seasoned flour? Yeah, we're going to do a seasoned flour. Seasoned flour, basically. He's going to add some uh, Todd's dirt. Hey, how many do you think is enough for uh, that bog? You I mean, everybody you, loves chicken wings, but yeah, that's, no, that's mean, a just, good, yeah. Just the first batch. We yeah. have to do, we're going to have to do this in a few batches. So It looks like more than enough. So he I, he stepped away. Now I'm going to step away. We, we are practicing, guys, as much as we can. So Yeah, we're doing, I'm going heavy with this. We're heavy with what? <laughs> I'm going to show him. I'm going heavy with Todd's dirt. I we've been using Todd's dirt a lot lately. This is the uh, this is the salty sailor. We this is this is my favorite. Chris asked me which which of Todd's I like best. Todd, thank you. Todd's a subscriber to the channel, and uh, the salty sailor is really good. So you guys can see, I, I went heavy on that. You know, threw a lot in there. So really looking forward to these. Snap that on. Get a good coating. Notice I'm not sitting in the chair that I wanted to be sitting in. Chris is not I'm only putting, putting me to work, work and I Absolutely. got flour all no over me. No free rides when it's my video. Right, Jeff? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, when it's my video, I might not even be home. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Those look good. Check yeah. that out. Nice. All right. Very nice. You're up. So Next up, we're going to throw them right in the, uh, the, the... Oh, hey, you mentioned uh, off-camera. When you opened the lid yeah. on the uh, 22, what would you say? The temperature dropped. It dropped about 25 degrees. So and how much time? Three minutes, four minutes. So keep that in mind if you guys are going to try this at home. The, the yeah, lid so really seems to make a difference. I'm going to let this go a little bit longer, then we're going to show you guys the wings going in. A few moments later. All right, guys, time for the chicken wings to go in. We didn't expect these to be fully covered because we have the oil. We may have to roll them around a little bit. But I got, uh, we coated right away in the first batch, probably about 20 wings. So I'm gonna try to space this out between the two of them. By the way, our oil when we started this was at about 400. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. We're gonna do another measurement right after uh, these all get in, see what happens. Well, these are actually a little deeper. So some of them are getting fully covered. And there's a secret from people who used to work in a sub joint. They say once it rises from the from the uh, from the oil means it's done. Once it starts to float a little bit. Yeah. But with chicken wings, we're gonna check them because yeah, we are we're gonna we're gonna definitely especially where we're rolling these, we'll probe them a lot. We're shooting for, what are you shooting for, 175, 180? Yeah, 180, 175 is perfect, I think. How they so looking? we're gonna, it's probably gonna take five, six minutes, I'm guessing? Seven minutes, maybe, top? I don't know, we'll Actually, see. Actually, let's check the temp while well, we got you. Well, so we threw them in, it jumped down to 300. Wow. Close the and lid first. And this one, 270. Close so the lid. 400 to 270 and 400 to, okay. I'm gonna close that lid, let it go, guys, and uh, check it in a minute. Check it in a minute. By the way, we did put our butter up on top to melt. You can see we just threw it right up on top of the griddle while it was sitting there getting up the temp. Melted nice. We're all good there. So right before we're ready to uh, coat these with the uh, butter, garlic, parmesan, we'll throw the butter, uh, the parmesan, in the garlic and. Probably two minutes before, just let it melt in there a little bit, but we don't want to cook it too long, so last couple seconds. All right, so these are just going to have to be rolled a little bit because they're not totally in the oil. So you can see. Definitely uh, working better than last time, though, Chris. Oh, yeah. I'm going to check, check, check that temp again, too, by the way. Just to... Uh, Oh, we got the sun on this right now. We have uh, no wind. I think that all plays into factor, you know? Yeah, it's, I'm thinking, though, the shallower the oil and the thinner pan with a better bottom. So I'm thinking camping, right? Like, the reason why you really want to perfect this is because you want to go camping. <laughs> and you want to be able to do this camping. You, you, what we did, what I did this week, you can't do that. It was too much oil, too long of time, too much gas waste, and you're going to run out of it. So this is good so far. You guys are too slow. I'm hungry, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fair. <laughs>
Relax, Eddie. We, we, it's coming. As soon as they get all these dumped in here, this is the second batch. We'll, uh, I just got to melt a little Parmesan cheese and the garlic in that. Pastos, wings right up the other, already done. Then you can eat and leave. How about that? I think you should make another drink if you really want to be part of the griddle gang. <laughs> so we're going to get the garlic going in here. Put it last minute. We don't want it to overcook the garlic. We want a nice little garlic flavor as, long, as well as the Parmesan cheese. So we got a nice little sauce going right here. By the way, for any subscribers who watched our other video, is I think it's pretty clear that Chris likes garlic parmesan wings. Chris likes wings, period. <laughs> that, that's you yeah, know what? you made garlic parmesan you guys last had me time sold too. At wings, you know, as soon as someone said wings to me, I'm in. <laughs> I was totally in. <laughs> Jeff's infatuated with my head. All right, I need something to move this around. All right. There we go. All right, we're gonna let that sit. Probably about 25, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna coat these wings that we had all done here, which look very crispy, very nice. Very happy about that. 292. What? 254. <laughs> Actually, the oil, 274. Maybe I got a piece of chicken. The chicken's done, dude. <laughs> Here he comes. All right, so guys. Uh, we're gonna finally we're gonna get our first batch down. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> pour this with a little, uh, get some of that garlic and cheese in there, and Nate's gonna mix that up as best he can. Then we're gonna plate it. Oh, that smells great, Chris. Good, I like that. Oh, smells awesome. I'm gonna take what, maybe uh, for Eddie? For Eddie, you could take like 12, 13,000. Yeah, I was gonna say 150. <laughs> Get out of there, Donkey. Donkey wants them. He likes Not the smell. Them. We'll give him this plate right here. Look at that. Oh, it's good. It's all good. Get a little uh, close up of that, Jeff. How's that for coming to your neighborhood party, right? All right, guys, so we just did the butter, garlic, parmesan. Now it's time for the kind of a buffalo. I got it red hot right here. Actually, you know what? I want this to be a little spicy, so with some butter. I got a stick of butter in there. And I'm also going to add a little bit of red pepper. And yes, it is the uh, fat side, Jeff. <laughs> but we'll be careful. It's just a little bit. <laughs> Gonna mix that up. Gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and then we're gonna, we have wings already ready to go. Gonna have Nate do his best uh, toss. And I'm gonna try those out. So far, so good. Next batch we're doing is uh, buffalo. Buffalo. So we basically, it's butter and some Pete's Red Hot sauce. No, Frank's Red Hot. It's what I had in the fridge, so we, we it's whatever you got in the in the house, that's did what. You say Pete's? Yeah, I did say Pete's. Yeah. I don't know why. It, it, there it's, was a Pete's. It's right actually now. Frank's brother. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Nate's gonna mix these up. So far, they're coming out fabulous. Much better than when uh, we did it in my driveway over there. Uh, these are crispier, easier to control the oil. We may, we may have made some progress on this, guys. This is better than takeout. <laughs> <laughs> you okay if I plate these? Absolutely, please do. With the tongs? Nah, I'm just gonna dump. Nice. Coordinate. Look at that. Should we give the bowl to Duncan? You think it'll bother his stomach? No, don't give it to Duncan. <laughs> Not at all. Well, that's gone. These are done. Yeah. That last batch that I'm gonna actually season heavy with. These are the ones I want, the dry rub. Yeah, the dry rub. Which we don't, it's not dry rub, but. Oh, let me go clean this out for you. We are gonna coat these with uh, some hot and spicy spices, though. So the key about this right now, we're thinking, we don't know for sure, 
But it's to get these out hot and then throw them right in the bowl. Actually, you throw them right in the bowl. Right? Yeah, right in the bowl while the hot oil is still on them. As then, I'm doing this, Nate's going to start seasoning them heavily with uh, some hot shit. Yeah, I did say shit. It is, this is not for kids. <laughs> Got crushed red pepper going on. Cumin. And what do we got here? Paprika, Chris? No, chili powder. That's chili powder. <laughs> I'm going to go two rounds with this. So do you think those are going to actually stick? To, I do. To, I can see it. Chicken? I can see it already. Because ideally, this is going to be very I hot. think we got enough crushed red pepper, this so I'm just going to really go good. with this. The... Is, this is probably my favorite chicken wing right here. How is that? Yeah? Oh, yeah, these look good, Chris. Oh. You want to throw out a couple plates? I'll plate these up. Yeah, they're right here. I don't know. I'm concerned these might be too hot, but is there <laughs> such a thing? <laughs> too hot? Not in this house. <laughs> Did you like that? Oh, my God, yeah. you smell good. No. Chris, oh. these came out fabulous. Oh, good. Look at that dry rub on there. I'm digging one of those. I have to. You guys can see how all that seasoning just, you know, totally caked itself right on there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Chris, you're eating one. How is it? Not that hot. No? I'm actually a little dis disappointed because it's not burning my mouth like I was looking for. No, those are perfect for just anyone, like the people that don't love spicy spices. Mm. Mm. No, I'm talking about the one he just... Oh. He just put... Well, uh, I mean, the cumin and the chili powder aren't really that spicy. I feel it. I taste it. It's really just the crushed uh, red that would give you heat. But anyway, it, it tastes it's very crispy. I'm very good. happy with them. It's a good smoky flavor. Though. Guys, end of the day, listen, we uh, shallow fry, I think. Shallow fry on the 22 with a lid. With the 22 the with a lid, with a good day, it's sunny out, it's not windy. We're very happy with the results. It didn't take long to heat up the oil. It um, at the end, of, you know, at the end of the day, it was not that bad. It wasn't torturous like it was for me early this week. So the 22 with the lid, it actually worked out perfectly, I think. And these are crispy chicken wings, and you can flavor them any way you want, which is fantastic. You know, very happy. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends, thanks for watching. Be safe.